Welcome to Calling Carmita and Chris, where we talk about everything from pop culture to politics. Okay, so today we're talking about the Whoopi Goldberg controversy. And as many of you probably all know, uh, Whoopi Goldberg is one of the co-hosts on The View. Um, and recently she made some comments regarding the Holocaust that caused her to receive a ton of backlash. Um, so there's, we're not gonna rehash the clip, but she, when she was describing how horrible the Holocaust was, um, people seemed to be upset because she didn't feel in her statement, her original statement didn't feel that it was specifically a race um tragedy are based on race and so the american defamation league ceo decided to change the definition of the word race so that it would also apply to people like holocaust survivors and situations of holocaust survivors and so i was i was really shocked by this entire incident um because from what i know about whoopi she's very compassionate um and thoughtful and when i watched the clip i mean she was very you know very hurt you know it's tough to talk about things like the holocaust and and it's just you could tell she was really affected by how how tragic the holocaust was um and so to receive backlash you know, based on semantics is, is, is a heartbreaking, you know, because you feel for, for people and, you know, you're still receiving a lot of hate for that. And then they're going to change the definition of a word that's been used, um, you know, forever. Um, it's just, it was just a really sad situation. Chris? So what I would say about that is that um, I think everybody's overreacting to Whoopi's comments. There was nothing anti-Jewish or anti-Semitic or, you know, anti-Middle Eastern, whatever, you know, religion. There was nothing, none of that in there. She disagrees with the fact that uh, it was a racial uh, issue, according to many historians. I agree that I myself, Chris Sanders, agree that the Holocaust was in fact about race. Um, however, it's not about race in the way that Americans had typically thought about race. Um, it's more about race in terms of uh, not necessarily physical characteristics, but more about the kind of person as opposed to anything that's highly specific, like in the case of black people. Like this is more about you know, people who, uh, you know, they worship a certain way, um, you know, they have certain beliefs, you know, they only shop and marry amongst people in their race, it's a general rule, um, you know, it was, you know, and the people, you know, like Hitler and these other people who, the Nazis who were, um, you know, who were trying to enforce uh, blonde haired, blue eyed purity, um, you know, for them, they specifically stated that it was about race or, you know, their definition of race, not necessarily the definition of race that we have here in America, not necessarily Whoopi's definition of race, but their own definition of race. And so, so Whoopi says, you know, that race is about color, blah, blah, blah. 
you know, I'm generally sympathetic to her comments. I don't have a problem with them at all, but I'm black. I'm not Jewish. Um, again, I think we're nitpicking. But you can be both, but, you can be both, but they it, would not consider you part of the Jewish race. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's the, that's the only problem that I have with it, because whenever black people adopt any religion, be it Islam or whatever, I mean, black people can live anywhere on earth, but we're never considered part of that demographic. Yeah, we're never you really live there for it. three generations and you're never considered. You could be three generations of, of, of Jewish, but, but mm. as a black, they, they would still tell you you're not Jewish. You're you have black skin. So to me, that that's it's a little sketchy there um, because it doesn't really work both ways. Phenotypic presentation matters is, is, is going to be. It, yeah. Like, I mean, bottom line, I mean, it matters. And so one of the problems I have with the whole discussion is the Jewish people in the Anti-Defamation League coming in and saying, well, we're just going to unilaterally change the definition of race. Well, who are you? Why do you get to dictate to the rest of us well, how we define race for ourselves? Right. Well, and the thing is, too, is that their definition of Jewish is still prejudice. If somebody was black and born into Jewish or Muslim, they're not accepted within those communities in that way. Same with Buddhism. You know, it's still phenotypically dictated that, oh, Buddhist tends to be more of an Asian or East Asian or whatever it is. I'm Buddhist, but I can't be part of the community like that. Um, if I decided to adopt Judaism or Islam or whatever, it's still not going to be the same based on phenotypic presentation. So we're still very divided. Religion and, and all kinds of things are still very divisive. And there was already a word for for uh, cultural discrimination. You know, there's words like prejudice, bias, bigot. You know, there's already words, lots of words for that. So this this situation really, it makes me think. It makes me more conscious, more aware, but it's helping me to see that we're still very divided. Um, and comment in the comments how you all how feel about that. Did you know that the definition was recently changed based on what these comments? How are you defining, um, you know, race and prejudice? You know, before how are you how are you seeing this? How are you seeing things? Are you um, a person of color who practices Judaism religiously and and lives in and believes it, but you know you, you don't fit in because you're phenotypically don't present, um, let us know in the comments how you feel about that. So something else I wanted to bring up is that um, I, um, yeah, they, people always, yeah, they, they say, oh, well, it's, it's it's it is racist but i mean but then they bring out their own racism when they're doing it which is like oh well if black people can't do it um if black people can't be jewish arguably that would be proving the point that it that it isn't about race it actually proves whoopi's point to uh, it actually proves her point to be honest in some ways like it literally hits home is that um, you know, that no one, uh, and you could argue that from both sides, but, um, she says it was about people just being awful. And I think that's part, I think that's absolutely true, but I also think that's, you know, the Nazi Germans were, um, uh, targeting, the Jewish religion specifically, um, um, and not necessarily the race of the individual, because they had to wear special symbols in order for them to even be able to tell who's who, or they had to be, people had to rat each other out in order for them to know, like, so really they couldn't really know the race of the individuals they were 
they were discriminated against. And would they have been, how many black people who were also Jewish locked up in the concentration camps? That's what I want to know. How many people who are black that were also Jewish that were locked up in the concentration camps? My guess is probably none uh, that they thought were Jewish. That's my guess. You know, to the extent that there may have been people that were black there, um, I would suspect it's probably because they're black and they believe in an all white society and not because those black people were Jewish. But that's just a guess. I mean, you know, I'm getting into some weird stuff, but the point being is, mm, I don't think we can so easily dismiss Whoopi's claim, but you know, my stated position as it stands right now. All right. Let us know what you Car think in the comments. Carmita, what do you think? What do you, well, people in the, the public, what do you think of, you know, this, league, this anti-defamation league, unilaterally going in and deciding that they, they, the also powerful anti-defamation league, they get to change the def definition of race without any involvement from black leaders, you know, the black public without any say. And I think it's interesting also that it was a black woman who decided that Whoopi needed to be uh, put on the sidelines, which I don't, again, I don't agree with it. You know, she went to a, she, she went to a, the woman who put Whoopi on the sidelines, went to an HBCU college. And this is how she, re, this is how she reacts. You know, I'm sure she probably is getting pressure from up above to do this. But again, I think it's wrong. And at the end of the day, when the white people, i.e. the Jewish white people, don't have her back, it will be the black people who are there backing her up. And she should know that. And number two, Whoopi wasn't being hateful and she didn't deserve this treatment. That's right. She didn't. So, um, yeah. So, uh, hope you all are having a wonderful evening and we are going to close up on this topic, but I want you to make it a great day and don't hate. Hate is not good. Don't do it. All right.